Hi, this is Natalie Reitzer and you're watching sbrpicks.com. Now 12th place Crystal Palace hosts 18th place QPR on Saturday. Here now to preview the match and to break down the best tips for the game is sports writer and William Hill's in-play radio host, Lee Phelps. Now both teams are in bad form, uh, both only winning one match in their last five played. Uh, last meeting ended in a scoreless draw. So what are you expecting to see on the pitch on Saturday? Well, I think QPR need to win. You know, it's gone of, the, gone of the days where they can just go away and try and get a draw. We know that their away form has been has been terrible this season. Just one win in all their away games so far. They have this is this is the kind of game Nathan, where they have to win this game. Otherwise, we're going down to the championship because as we've said time and time again doing these videos and on the articles, the home games that they've got left are very difficult. They have to win this. They have to come out and score goals. And Crystal Palace haven't been that good at home under Alan Pardew. They've been great away, but they haven't been that good at home. So I think this is a great opportunity for QPR. I do actually like the price. I'm not mm -hmm. sure I can quite go for them to win, but I do think they're quite a big price. Yeah, that's right. Well, while this game might not be the most exciting fixture this weekend, uh, we do have good value on the three-way line. Uh, the best odds I found on sbrodds.com is 1.8 uh, for the home team and favourites Crystal Palace um, at Labrooks there, and uh, 3.75 for the draw, 5 for QPR. Uh, 888 Sport, are you going with an away win or are you going to leave the winner's market? Look, if I, if I was forced to go for one of the three, I would pick QPR just because I think it's a big price, you know, and, and the fact that Crystal Palace haven't been the same at home as they have been away from home. They've only picked up four points from the 12 possible at home when they've picked up nine from 12 on the road. So if forced, I'd go for QPR, but I'm not going to touch, my main bet won't be in the outright market. All right. Well, no surprise, the under has the lowest odds. Uh, 1.78 I found there at 888 Sport. Is that what you're thinking? I think I'd go overs because again, QPR have to win this game. You know, it's no point in just sitting back. And if it's if it's one-one, say with you know 20 minutes to go, what's the point in taking a point? You know, they have to get three points now. There's no you know there's no point in doing that. So I think I, I probably would go for the over 2.5. I think I think they'll be a bit more adventurous than they have been recently. Um, you know, so I probably would just because of the odds, I'd probably just stretch it to over 2.5. And both teams have got goal scorers. Yeah. You know, Crystal Palace have been scoring goals recently, um, and they've got Glenn Murray back in the team as well. They've got some good good attacking players in midfield and on the wings. So I like Palace to score. In QPR, I've got Charlie Austin. Now, they haven't got many other players who can score, but in Charlie Austin, they've got a man who's scored over half of their goals this season. 15 goals, and they've scored 29 in total. So, he's the man. If you think QPR can get a goal, and I do, then he's the man that uh, probably will score it. Yeah, is that your top tip? Yeah, yeah. To score, he's 3.25, like 9-4 to four to score in this game. And, you know, that he wouldn't be that price if this was at Loftus Road. Now, I know they're away from home, but it's just a piece of grass. If he gets chances, it's just a goal with you know the same size goal, same dimensions on the pitch. <laughs> why why is it why are players bigger prices away from home if they're going to get chances? It's not like he doesn't score goals away from home. So I think QPR will create chances. And if Charlie Austin gets on the end of a few of them, then I think that's a good price. All right, great stuff. Lee Phelps, thank you for joining us today. No problem.